In 2014, Russia took over Crimea. Russia says its seizure of the territory was in response to the will of locals who voted overwhelmingly to join Russia in a hastily organized referendum in 2014 and that was dismissed as illegitimate by the international community. Since then, human rights groups have criticized a crackdown of freedom of speech in the region and the indigenous Crimean Tatar population has reported harassment and arrests. Since Russia started its invasion on the 24th of February, Ukraine has mainly been on the defensive with limited counter-offensive being conducted only in the recently lost territories. But this seems to have changed when massive explosions were reported at Saki Air Base in Crimea on the 9th of August. While Ukraine hasn't officially taken the responsibility for the attack, all indications point to some level of involvement. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Crimea has suddenly become fair game. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code defense at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. President Vladimir Zelensky cleared his stance on the 9th of August and stated, Today there is a lot of attention to the topic of Crimea, and rightly so, because Crimea is Ukrainian and we will never give it up. We will not forget that the Russian war against Ukraine began with the occupation of Crimea. Russia has turned our peninsula, which has always been and will be one of the best places in Europe, into one of the most dangerous places in Europe. Russia brought large-scale repression, environmental problems, economic hopelessness, and war to Crimea. War. Perhaps historians will one day determine how many people were killed as a result of Russia's use of Crimea for terror. Tens of thousands? Hundreds of thousands? From Ukraine and Georgia to Syria and more remote regions. The presence of Russian occupiers in Crimea is a threat to the entire Europe and to global stability. The Black Sea region cannot be safe as long as Crimea is occupied. There will be no stable and lasting peace in many countries on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea as long as Russia is able to use our peninsula as its military base. This Russian war against Ukraine and against the entire free Europe began with Crimea and must end with Crimea, with its liberation. Today it's impossible to say when this will happen, but we are constantly adding the necessary components to the formula of the liberation of Crimea. This attack seems to be the first major Ukrainian strike on Crimea. The base is reported to have assets of the Russian Air Force 43rd Aviation Regiment. The U.S. has been the main supplier of weapons to Ukraine, and its stand on Crimea is pretty clear. President Joe Biden has said earlier that the United States will never recognize Russia's annexation of Ukraine's Crimea region. His statement came on the seventh anniversary of Russia's invasion and seizure of the Crimean Peninsula. The takeover provoked a wider military standoff in eastern Ukraine. Till the attack of the 9th of August, Russian civilians had not witnessed the horrors of the conflict that Ukrainian society has been witnessing. While most experts thought that Ukraine would capitulate within a week, almost six months down the line, things have surely taken an unexpected turn. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.